What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Brian Hikes All Day here. Today I wanted to talk to you about everything that I carry in my summer day pack. Um, this goes from anything from a five mile hike to a 50 mile day hike. I carry all my essentials in here and I wanted to break it down for you, show you everything that I carry, everything that you should probably carry. Um, I'll go over why I carry the things that I carry and then I'll just do an overall review on this pack itself while I'm doing it. Um, this is the Camelback Hog. It's a 20 liter backpack by Camelback. Um, I pretty much love it. I've been using it for two summer seasons already and it's just the perfect pack. It's super skinny and sleek. Um, most of the, the size goes out so you have plenty of room for your elbows to swing around and stuff like that. So uh, let's throw this down on the ground and uh, go over all the things that I carry in a summer day pack and probably the things that you should carry too. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, so what we got here is my Camelback Hog. Um, it's a, Like I said, it's a 20 liter pack by Camelback and uh, I pretty much love it. I'm going to show you everything that I carry in my summer pack, everything that you should carry in your summer pack uh, to stay safe and comfortable in the mountains. So one of the first things I carry, polarized sunglasses. Why? You don't want to burn out your corneas. It's good to have sunglasses. Um, otherwise you could end a hike and just feel really dizzy and out of place and just really messed up. Headlamps. I carry two of them. You know, you got to have a backup. One, if one runs out, you want another one. Okay. Have two headlamps. And then also, if you meet someone on trail that doesn't have a headlamp, you could save their life. You know, how many people get rescued by the DEC because they don't have a headlamp? They underestimate the Adirondack Mile. So, this section, what do I carry? Food, you know, make sure you carry food. This was for demonstration, but this is something that I do carry. Um, you know, I fill up food, okay? Solar power battery bank. This one's 25,000 milliamps. Um, this pretty much works indefinitely. It charges its battery through the sun. And, uh, you know, it's a big battery itself. Once you charge it, you could charge your phone, I don't even know how many times. It's got multiple charging ports, and um, this is how you could also charge it by plugging it into the wall. Um, I can charge my headlamps, I could charge my GoPro, I could charge my phone. You know, make sure you bring all the cables for charging because this will take care of everything. Um, that's like literally one of the most important pieces of equipment in my pack, I think. Um, little first aid kit, you know, little miscellaneous things. What do I have in this little miscellaneous first aid kit? Um, I got charging cables for the headlamps. I got a charging cable for the phone. I got blister pads and band-aids and all those types of things that I might need in the summer. What else? I got Advil and Tylenol for pain. Um, obviously, if you're in a lot of pain, you got to take some painkillers to get off the mountain. This is a Sawyer filter straw, which I can get into a little bit later. You know, a multi-purpose, I got a knife, I got a screwdriver, it's got scissors, it's got everything on it, little guy. What do we got in here? Well, I wear contacts, so I got contact solution and extra contacts. If I lose a contact, I can't be limping out of the woods with one eye. Um, I got two lighters for fire starting. They're both wrapped in an airtight bag so that they stay preserved, you know? I wrap a lot of these things in bags. You don't want the band-aids and all those things getting wet. Um, that's a little pack thing that was given to me with the Camelback pack, which I love. All right, what do I carry in here? Okay, Sawyer Squeeze water filter, but I'm gonna talk more about that in a minute. I carry a rag. This is for cleaning GoPro lenses, for cleaning the phone lenses. You know, you're trying to take nice pictures. You want something nice, um, microfiber cloth for uh, cleaning. Now, what are we carrying here? Okay, so guys, seriously, very important. Just because it's summer doesn't mean that it stays warm in the mountains at night. You're still dealing with really cold nights where you can get hypothermia. So always be prepared to spend a night in the mountains. What do I carry in my summer pack? I carry, the most important thing for me, is my North Face Flex GTX. It's a Gore-Tex shell. This will protect you against the wind, the rain, pretty much all the elements. Um, this is this is my main shell in the winter. This will take care of pretty much everything. Um, this will keep you alive if you get stuck in the mountains at night. Um, really important that you carry a, a layer that's gonna keep you warm and safe at night. I don't care. Um, this is always with me, no matter what. Um, gloves, you know, sometimes it gets really cold. You want some gloves in the summer. You want a hat in the summer. You know, if you do have to spend a night in the mountains and you're hiking in shorts all day, I also have a pair of insulated, like, um, polyester gym pants. These keep my legs nice and warm. Again, I might not be the most comfortable at night if I'm spending a night in the mountains in the summer, but I'm gonna survive. This is gonna get me through a night. Um, also, 
I got a long sleeve, hyper warm, insulated uh, shirt by Nike. You know, the, there's a lot, there's a lot of warm layers here that are going to keep me alive in the summer. Um, what do I got in here? Well, I got some dry paper towels and cloths for whatever, plastic bags uh, to take out like baby wipes and stuff. You know, if I'm taking a crap in the woods, I wanna be able to pack out my toilet paper and stuff. You know, I got extra socks in a bag to stay dry because if it rains and I need socks later on, I want dry socks. So nice and preserved in that. Uh, let's see. Okay. What else? Okay, so that covers a majority of it now. In the very back of this pack, I carry two 50 ounce smart water bottles. Why am I carrying smart water bottles and not the hydration pack that Camelback comes with? Well, simple. The Camelback hydration pack is really inconvenient to clean. It takes forever to dry, and if you don't dry it right away, it starts to mold. But that's not really the reason why. The reason why is because I like to go on really far day hikes and I like to drink a lot of water. I'm like a freaking cow. I just drink a lot of water. So what can you do? Well, look at this. The Sawyer filters are designed to screw onto smart water bottles. So now I fill up all my water in a stream. I flip this upside down and I got fresh, clean drinking water. So now I could just refill these bottles really conveniently and I could stay full of hydration all day. So that's that's the reason why I carry smart water bottles because they work hand in hand with the Sawyer water filter. So um, I don't really have to deal with the inconvenience of other things. Um, yeah, and then the straw also, um, you could actually, actually, I think there's an attachment I'm missing, but you could stick the straw in the water and actually drink right out of the stream itself. Actually, oh yeah, like that. But, okay, uh, anyway. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything I carry in my summer pack. You know, I got food, I got water, I got warm layers to keep me safe, I got sunglasses, headlamps, charger kit, first aid kit, and that's pretty much the bottom line. That's really all you need in a summer day pack. Um, that's pretty much everything that's gonna keep you safe for a whole day in the mountains, a whole night in the mountains, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I hope you liked this video. I hope it helped, and I hope you guys have an amazingly safe, happy, healthy summer, bagging some high peaks, and uh, living life and loving it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.